Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Mauricio? I'm fine. Excellent. Thank. Nice. Ready. Ready for action. I'm ready for action. Excellent. Then let's begin. <laughs> let's begin. Let's begin. Yeah, the other people are going to be here in a moment. Okay. 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 Buenas noches. Este es el programa nacional de inglés para el trabajo modalidad online. Beginner three. Welcome to your English class. Today is Friday, September the 30th, and this is class 18. Today we're going to be using imperatives to give directions, okay? This is a general objective. This is the specific objective. Students will be able to use the imperatives to give directions to important sites in their city. <clears throat> Class objective. The class will be able to use imperatives to give directions to other important sites in their city. In the agenda, we have getting lost, maps, directions, giving directions, and studying a map. This is the first thing that we're going to be discussing. But before, let's go to the attendance. Okay. Let's see. I have some people that have very low attendance, 66%. Okay. Let me see. Abigail Mendoza, Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Ana Maria Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Andrea Maria Cruz. Dilcia Yamilet Hernandez. Emma Gloria Martinez. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. José Ezequiel Guzmán, Juan José Herrera, Elia Elizabeth Rodríguez, Lady Xiomara Chicas. Pre present teacher. Excelente señorita. Welcome on board. Maritza Yanir Hernández. Paola Stephanie Mejía. Raquel Abigail García, Raquel Beatriz Segura, Guadalupe, Guadalupe eh, Aguillón, Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón, Sandra Patricia Ramos, Stephanie Michelle Oviedo, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. And Jonathan, present teacher. Present teacher. Excellent. And Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin checking.
The first topic that we're going to discuss is getting lost. The purpose is to discuss getting lost. Okay. You say, teacher, what is loss? Loss, uh -huh, loss is when you are in a place that you don't know and you don't know how to go back to your house, how to go back to a place that you know. So have you ever gotten lost? How did you feel? What did you do? How did you get your bearings in a big city? Your bearings means your sense of direction. How did you know where you were in a big city? How did you get around in a big city? How did you make sense of direction in a big city? What do you do when you get lost? What do you do when you get lost? Okay, so this is the first thing that you're going to do. I'm going to send you to the group so that you may discuss this part. Esmeralda, I see that you are better. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to go to the groups. First, how many people are we? 13, so 12, three groups. Uh, 12, three groups. Hello, hello. Andrea, Kenya, Jorge. Hello. Hi. Hi, Kenya. Andrea, Jorge. Hello. Estamos listos, va? Ok, empecemos con la número uno. Have you, have you ever gotten lost? You may share screen first. Que, nos, que se nos haga uh, el hábito de compartir la pantalla para mejor práctica. Eh, Alguien puede compartir la pantalla. Hello. No mandó esa información, Patricia. Perdón. No mandó esa información de esa presentación hoy. Permítame, quiero ver si yo creo que quizá no. Quiero ver. Se la voy a mandar ahorita, si no se la. Por mando. favor. Según yo sí. Pero creo que no. Se me, se me durmió el pajarito. Ok, no aquí va. Cierto que no se las mandé. Estuve mandando otras cosas, pero no el de ustedes. Ok, sorry. Vamos, a, ahorita se las mandé.
Okay, now you may share. Download it and you may share it. Okay. Hello? Hello, hello? Ore? Hello? Ah, si quieres, comencemos. Andrea? Sí. Kenya? Ok. La primera pregunta, Jorge. Have you ever gotten lost? Mm. No, I really know. Me yo because I use a Google Map. No se pierde uno ahora. No. <laughs> Pero I think when I love, I question the people. And you? Con miedo. Ana María, ¿por qué se puso oyente en el nombre? Usted no es oyente. Solo, solo dos son oyentes, Jonathan y Mauri. Los, los que son oyentes. In my case, in this moment, trying to remember how I get a loss. ¿Cómo fue que me perdí? <laughs> what did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? In my case, back to place where I used to know. Bueno, como en el caso que les dije, ¿va? que me, me perdía dentro del mercado central. Entonces tuve que ir a una de las salidas para ubicarme donde estaba. Ok. Um, no, no, nunca me he perdido. En la cuatro vamos. Mm. La tres, what did you feel? What did you do? La cuatro. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué hiciste? Uh -huh. Cuando te perdiste. <ríe> La cuatro. How do you get your bearing in a big city? Bearings es ubicación. Bearings. 
Very. ¿Cómo te orientas en una ciudad, gran ciudad? Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. Ways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the internet. <clears throat> <clears throat> También eso te, te pierde esas, esas aplicaciones. Yes. O cual, una vez nos pasó a nosotros que salía que teníamos que pasar in front de alcaldía de San Martín y estaba cerrado. Habían ah. hecho algo, un meeting. Así que teníamos que usar otra calle. Te manda sentido contrario también. Yes, it's true. <laughs> um, what do you do when you get lost? ¿Qué haces cuando te pierdes? Um, Asking, asking someone. Porque eso sí ya lo hemos hecho. Preguntarle a alguien dónde está algo. O la gente le dice, no, usted sabe en lejos. Aquí está bien perdido. ¿no? O a veces la misma gente le da unas direcciones todas, todas raras. O buscar policía. Sí, es. <coughs> también por en dirección en mi company en mi caso me, me gusta dirigirme por la ubicación de algunas compañ grandes compañías. ¿no? Por tal compañía, por tal uh -huh. empresa. Y ahí yo me ubico más. En mi caso. Case, strate strategic points. Puntos uh -huh. estratégicos. Ajá, uh -huh. correcto. <ríe> the church, the park, uh -huh. the bank. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> What do you <clears throat> What do you when you get lost? In my case, ask the people. Preguntar a las personas si conocen tal lugar. Buscar una alianza. Sí, mm -hmm. In my case, ask for direction, ask for help. A person. And consult Google Maps. <laughs> Hello, Juan Jose. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Fine. Good. Excellent. Let's get to the next item. Next, next item. Practice this conversation with a partner. Maria, have you seen Jonathan? He was with you? I know. 
I got distracted for a moment and I can't find him. Did you look everywhere? Of course I did. He vanished without a trail. It's your fault. You're always looking at the cell phone. Why do you say I was watching my cell phone? I didn't even bring it. I was given directions to a lady who was lost. Let's go, let's go look for him. He might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is. Jonathan, why did you leave like that? Okay. Maria, have you seen Jonathan? He was with you. I know, I got distracted for a moment and I can't find him. Did you look everywhere? Of course I did. He vanished without a trail. It's your fault. You're always looking at the cell phone. Why do you say I was watching my cell phone? I didn't even bring it. I was giving directions to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is. Jonathan, why did you live like that? Vanished, trail, vanished without a trail. Desapareció sin rastro. <laughs> vanished without a trail. Got distracted for a moment. Got distracted for a moment. I can't find him. Did you look everywhere? Of course. Of course I did. It's your fault. Tu culpa. It's your fault. Why do you say I was watching my cell phone? I didn't even bring it. I was giving directions to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He might be by the toy store. Might. He might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is. Jonathan, why did you live like that? Okay, let's practice. The, but do you have any questions first? My dear Angelitos, do you have questions? Manager. Vanish. Van Desapareció. Uh, vanish. He vanished. Okay. Okay. He vanished. Thank you. You're welcome. He vanished without a trail. Desapareció sin rastro. Sin rastro. Trail, rastro. Okay. All right, then let's go to, to practice. I'm going to create, recreate the groups because we are many more. Mm. I'm not inviting people, select like participants and appears invite. 19, so we are 18 people. Five groups. I'm going to create five groups. Groups are opening, please join. Uh, Jose Ezequiel Guzman is in group three. Okay, thank you. Raquel nunca entra, entonces no hay problema. 
Uh, Jonathan, you are in group two. Ana Maria Portillo. Hola, teacher. You are in group one. Okay. Welcome okay. aboard. No me sale acá para donde poner. Es que tiene Esta. dos, dos. Eh, si enciende la compu y enciende el teléfono, se va a confundir. Eh, no tengo compu. En los teléfonos. Dos teléfonos. No, uno, pero me abre varias ventanas. Ya parece que tiene dos devices. En serio. Uh, ajá, acá me sale. Y uno está en mute, ¿verdad? <risa> Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, go to the group one, okay? Welcome on board. I know I got distracted for a moment and I can find him. Did you look everywhere? Of course, I did. He vanished with you to a trial. It's your fault. You're always looking at the cell phone. Mm. Why do you say I was washing my cell phone? I didn't even bring it. I was giving direction to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He might be, he might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is. Jonathan, why did you leave like that? Okay, vamos a dar un chile, yes. <risa> <risa> si quieres lo Hola. haces con Dilcia. Eh, acá está ah, ahí está Ana, Ana María, ah, genial, entonces Dilcia con Ana María. Ok. Solo que estoy algo ronca y me va a escuchar. No, cómo sí. no. Sí. Don't worry. Así es otro acento. <risa> 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 Vaya, okay. dice, si gusta yo empiezo. Mm -hmm. Ya. María, have you seen Jonathan? He was with you. I know I got distracted for a moment and I can't find him. Did you look every every everywhere? Of course, I think he vanished. No sé si así se dice. <clears throat> With how a uh, trial? It's your Oh, there he is. Jonathan, why did you live like that? Mm, vaya, otra vez. Otra ronda. <laughs> okay. Sandra, usted también. Okay. Ahora empieza usted o yo? No, usted. Ok. María, have you seen Jonathan? He was with you. I know. I got distracted for a moment. And I can feel him. Did you look everywhere? Of course. I did. He vanished without a trail. It's your fault. You're always looking at the cell phone. <clears throat> Why do you say I was watching my cell phone? I didn't even bring it. It was giving direction to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is, Jonathan. Why do you live like that? Vaya, late. <laughs> Maria. Bye. ¿Quién comienza? Voy a comenzar yo. Seré Jack. Maria, have you seen Jonathan? He was with you. 
I know I got distracted for a moment and I can't find him. Do you look everywhere? Of course, I did. He vanished without a trail. Get your foul. You are always looking at the cell phone. Why mm -hmm. do you say I was watching my cell phone? I didn't ever bring it. I was giving direction to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He must be by the toy store. Oh, there he is, Jonathan. Why did mm -hmm. you live like that? Mm -hmm. He desaparecido y mm -hmm. sin rastro. Trail. 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 Washing. I didn't even. We lost. Creo que son esas dos palabras. Vale. Repitámoslo de nuevo entonces. Va. Hagamos el diálogo de nuevo. Comienza. Mar... Va, yo voy a comenzar. María, have you seen Jonathan? He was without you. I know. I got distracted for a moment. And I cannot find him. Did you look everywhere? Of course. I did. He vanishes without a trial. It's your fault. You are always looking at the cell phone. What do you say? I was watching my cell phone. I didn't even bring it. I was giving direction to the lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He meet by this toy story. Oh, there he is. Jonathan, what did you live like that? Invertámoslo aquí. Cell phone? I didn't even bring it. I was giving direction to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is. Jonathan, why did you live like that? Okay. Eh, ¿Con quién voy ahorita? ¿Con Andrea o con Jorge? Andrea. Okay. Eh, María, have you seen Jonathan? He was with you. I know. I got distracted for a moment and I can't find him. Did you look everywhere? Of course, I did. He vanished without a train. It's your fault. You're always looking at the cell phone. What do you say? I was watching my cell phone. I didn't even read it. I was giving direction to a lady who was lost. Let's go look for him. He might be by the toy store. Oh, there he is, Jonathan. Why did you live like that? Ahora con Jorge. Ahora empieza usted, Jorge. There are 12 people out. Six people are missing. Let's give them one minute. Wow, 13. It's taking them quite a while to get out. 
All right. 13 will do. Okay. Let's see. Can't find him. Find. Find. Can't find him. I can't find him. Distracted. 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 Bring it. Even. Even. I didn't even bring it. Ni siquiera lo traje. I didn't even bring it. I didn't even bring it. I didn't even bring it. Okay. Might. He might be by the toy store. He might be by the toy store. Leave. Why did you leave like that? Why did you leave like that? Have you seen? Vanished. 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 Without, without a trail. 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 Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Here is Jonathan. What happened according to the dialogue? According to the dialogue, what happened? Jonathan got lost. Jonathan got lost. Uh -huh. According to the dialogue, Jonathan got lost. Why did the child move away from his dad? Why did he move away from his dad? Maybe visited the store, toy. Uh, maybe to visit to visit the store, right? The purpose, to visit the store. Mm -hmm. Okay, to visit the toy store. Why didn't the man realize his son was missing? Why didn't the man realize, realize is darse cuenta. Why didn't the man realize his son was missing? Was he looking at his cell phone? Yeah. No. Because look for his cell phone. He, he was, was giving a direction to a lady. He was giving directions to a lady. He was giving directions okay. to a okay. lady. The cell phone, he didn't even bring it. He didn't even bring it. Uh -huh. What was the woman's reaction? What was the woman's reaction? It's your fault. You were looking at the cell phone. Mm -hmm. okay. It's your fault. It's your fault. You were looking at the cell phone. Okay. So what was the woman's reaction? She accused her husband. With evidence? No. Without evidence. We have to be careful. Sometimes we accuse without evidence. It happens to me, happens to everybody, that sometimes we accuse people without evidence. Okay. Okay. So what happened at the end? What happened? They, they find him. They found him. Yes, they found him. Mm -hmm. They found him. Okay, happy ending. They found him. Okay, pre task maps. Are you good at reading maps? <laughs> Are you good at reading maps? No, so, so. just waste. Just waste. 
also. Uh -huh. When you are going to a place that is new, is it easy for you to find your way? Or is it difficult? Difficult for me. How do you feel when you're going to a new place and you have no idea whatsoever where the place is? You don't know where the place is, but you are going. How do you feel? I love. You feel worried? Nervous. Nervous? Yeah. Disoriented. <laughs> you feel lost, right? Do you get lost in big cities? Yeah. Okay. For example, if you stay in a hotel, pay attention to the tall building. Pay attention to the tall buildings. What tall building is to the right or to the left of the hotel? If you move in the city, whatever, you look at the tall building and you say, ah, my hotel is over there because of the tall building. The small buildings, mm -mm, the tall building. So you look and you say, ah, my hotel is there. Okay. Let's see. Getting lost in big cities is completely normal, right? Completely normal. Yeah. Yes, natural. Okay. This lady is traveling. What do you think is her job? What does she do? What's her job? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what do you think, what do you suppose is her job? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Maybe a teacher. Maybe a teacher, right? She has, okay, the world map here, the globe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many times teachers travel with their, uh, the things that they use in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Let's see, prepositions of place, preps of place, prepositions of place. Just to remind you, uh, course one, you remember P1 or B1, beginners one, prepositions of place. Where's the book? It's on the table. Where's the dog? It's under the table. Where's the pencil sharpener? It's next to the book. Where are the apples? They are in the bowl. Where's your house? It's next to the park. Where's the bank? It's on Main Street. Where's the supermarket? It's behind the park. Where's your shop? It's between the gym and the boutique. Where's the school? It's across from the plaza. Where's the church? It's on the corner of second and main. You say, teacher, don't remember some prepositions. Look at this. In front of, for directions, hablando de edificios, no decimos in front of. Una persona está enfrente del edificio. Pero la, la forma en que nosotros entendemos enfrente de no es la misma forma que los gringos entienden enfrente de. Por ejemplo, si algo está al otro lado de la calle, un edificio está al otro lado de la calle, ¿cómo se dice? Across from. Across from. Si algo está en la misma acera, 
si alguien está enfrente de un edificio en la misma acera, we say in front of. Al otro lado de la calle ya no es in front of. Es across from. Eh, si hay un kiosquito o un stand afuera del edificio es in front of. In front of the building. There is a kiosk in front of the building. Or there is a stand, there is a newspaper stand in front of the building. In front. On the other side of the street is across from. Next to. Between. Between. Behind. 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 On the corner of. This is one street and the other street. One street, okay, maybe the avenue and the street. Avenue, street, on the corner of. In means inside. Inside. On. On top, on the table, okay? Under, under. Four directions, we don't use under. At least not come, okay? Only when something is on the second floor and the other is on the first floor. Like imagine that you say Pizza Hut is on the second floor. And on the first floor, you have um, maybe Wendy's. And you say, Wendy's is under Pizza Hut. Okay. Maybe. Okay, in your booklet, they gave you this information. Next to, in front of, Look in the same street, in front of, between, across the street, or across from, around the corner, around the corner, a la vuelta de la esquina, around the corner, around the corner, on the right, on the right, on the left. Okay, you say, teacher, remember, uh, you are looking me, you are looking at me like this. So for me, my right is this one. No, <laughs> it's my left. This is my right and this is my left. Okay, but uh, for you, you have your right. Okay, so right and left, your right, put the fingers like this. Okay, put the fingers like this. The hand that makes an L is the left. The hand that is like this and it makes a J, a J, right, a J is the right, okay, the left, the right, okay. Here on television is completely different, okay? But in real life, do it. And you will see in front of you, you see an L that is the left. You see a J that is the right, okay? So left and right, down the street. Down the street means walking. Okay, let's see. How many of you know Miramont? Do you know Miramont? So if you move from Miramont to Metro Centro, you are moving down the street on Sisimiles, right? You are going down on Sisimiles towards Metro Centro. That is down the street. But if it's the opposite, 
you are moving from Metro Centro to Miramonte, that is what? Go up the street, up the street. The opposite of down, down is up, down, up, okay? So that would be the idea. Okay, take turns and read the directions. You, your partner will label the places, the places in the map, okay? Say, The hotel is across the street. The hotel is across the street. The gas across the street. From what? Normalmente cuando decimos across the street, decimos across the street, ¿de qué? Porque yo les digo a ustedes, Pizza Hut is across the street. Across the street, ¿de qué? ¿Qué hay al otro lado de la calle? O sea, esa es la referencia. Entonces, se llama landmark. Landmark, la referencia que hacemos a algo conocido. Bueno, ustedes conocen eh, el coco feliz. ¿Conocen el coco feliz? Espero que no, porque es inventado. Ok. <risa> como ustedes no lo conocen, como ustedes no lo conocen, si yo les digo, miren, queda enfrente del coco feliz. ¿Les sirve de referencia? Por supuesto que no, es una pérdida de tiempo. Ahora, para dar direcciones, ¿qué hacemos? Buscamos un, un punto de referencia conocido por ambos. Dice, hey, ¿conoces la torre, torre segura? Sí, conozco. Ah, pues allí no es. No, ese no es tampoco. Uh -huh. Sino que decimos, ¿conoces la torre futura? Sí. Ah, pues al otro lado de la calle. Allí es. Ah, ok. I understand. Ah, cross. ¿Conoces? Sí, ok al otro lado de la calle on the other side okay on the other side of the street across the street across the street from torre futura that's the place ah okay so but don el ejemplo está bastante escueto dice across the street from the qué okay recordemos pongamos across the street from what al otro lado de la calle de qué Okay. ¿Para qué? Porque es una referencia. Ok, ¿qué es lo que estamos haciendo? Dando direcciones. Uh -huh. ¿Y ¿Cómo vamos a dar direcciones a un lugar que no se conoce? ¿Verdad? Entonces, es usando la lógica. Usando la lógica. Ok, the gas station is around the corner. The gas station is around the corner. Ok. Where is a corner? Here, right? So, maybe this is the gas station. Do you think? Or this one? This one? Because this is around the corner. Depende donde vaya. Mm -hmm. okay. Which is the gas station? This one or this one? Don't know. No. Don't know. The ATM, ATM is automated teller machine. Okay, automated teller machine. An automated teller machine is the money, the money machine, right? The money machine. So the ATM is down the street on the right. Down, let's see, down the street. On the right. La Ajá. Sabemos que este no es por qué. Porque es el hotel. Entonces tiene que ser. Mm -hmm. This one. Teacher, that is the right. No. Ese es mi left. Ok, pero así de enfrente. 
Ok. Ahora, ¿por qué que no decimos solo on the right? Porque on the right, ¿qué? Decimos on the right hand side. Right hand side of the street, a mano derecha. Porque a la derecha, a la, de, a la derecha de qué? Lo que está a la izquierda está a la derecha de algo, ¿verdad? Entonces no hay un punto de referencia sólido, seguro. Entonces, digamos, eh, on the right, on the right of what? A la derecha de qué? Oh my goodness, ahí quedamos fritos otra vez. Uh -huh. Ok, pero down the street, down the street, por acá. Si vamos para abajo, vamos viendo, vamos viendo, así, ¿verdad? Entonces, down the street, the right is by the hotel, right? On top of the hotel. So let's put here ATM. ATM. Atlético de Madrid. No, Atlético de Madrid no, teacher. Okay. So we put it there. ATM. Excellent. Excellent. Now, let's see the other one. Uh, the restaurant is down the street on the left. The restaurant is down the street. Ah, a la izquierda. A la izquierda. La primera o la segunda? Esta está bajando la calle a la izquierda. Ya uh -huh. ¿Cuál de las dos es? I don't know. Con esa dirección. <laughs> Con esa dirección, no sé. Okay. Okay. What do we say normally? ¿Por qué a veces somos malos entendiendo las direcciones? Porque somos malos dando las direcciones. Si no damos bien las direcciones. Where is your house? Ah. Uh, there is a store, there is an electricity pole, and there is a hydrant, un hidrante. There is a hydrant, an electric pole, and there is a store. It's a, a blue house. Todas son azul. So, come on. Un punto que sea clave, que sea diferente a todos los demás para dar dirección. Si es, son, todos son iguales, no me digan el azul. Todos son azules. Ok. So, ¿qué estoy tratando de hacer? Que para dar direcciones tenemos que tener lógica. Si no tenemos lógica, no las podemos dar. Y si no las damos bien, no. La otra persona no entiende. Y cuando nos dan direcciones así, tampoco entendemos. ¿Verdad? Ok. Let's see. We say on the right hand side of the street. Okay, on the right hand side of the street. A mano derecha, ¿verdad? A mano derecha en la calle, o sea, la, la calle así a mano derecha. On the right hand side of the street. Ok. To the right of the hotel. Ok. To the right of the hotel. A la derecha del hotel. Ah, say, that's a hotel. To the right. Ah, ok. There it goes. Ok. So. Um, round the corner. Going down, round the corner has to be this one. So let's put gas station. Not sure, but let's suppose. 
gas station. Okay. The bank is next to the gas station. Pero si no hay nada next to the gas station. Ah, pues no era ese, el gas station. <laughs> okay. No entendimos entonces. So, teacher, no entendió usted porque yo sí entendí. <laughs> okay. So, this is the gas station. It says the bank is next to the gas station. So, this is the bank. Okay. And this one is? Restaurant. The restaurant, right? Okay. This is completing this. Let's continue. Okay, teacher, and then how do we say? The hotel is across the street from the gas station. Okay, the hotel is across the street from the gas station. Ah, okay. The gas station is around the corner. Okay. Um, so, the, 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 the gas station is around the corner when you go up the street. When you go up the street. Okay, it's around the corner. Okay. Okay, the gas station is around the corner when you go up the street. The bank is next to the gas station. Okay, this is complete. The ATM is down the street on the right. Down the street on the right. Okay, the restaurant is down the street on the left down the street on the left mm -hmm. okay let's see repeat for me go straight go straight go straight uh -huh. straight straight Straight. Normally, normalmente le agregamos ahead. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Go past. O sea, Go. no se detenga tal cosa, pase. Pase, señor. Ok, um, an idea. Let me see. This is the building. This is the building, okay? And this is the street. Say this is the street. Ooh. I'm going to put the street here. This is the street. And this is, okay. And uh, let me see if I make a line here. Type of line. Let me see. Let me invent. Okay. And let me change it to black.
Okay, so if you say go pass, you are moving up. Si va en carro, va en este carril. But, so you go up. Don't stop here. Go pass. Go pass. Don't stop. Go pass. Go pass the gas station. Imagine that this is the gas station. Go past the gas station. Means don't stop at the gas station. Continue. Means when you get to the gas station, continue, right? Go past the gas station. Turn left. Turn left. Uh, say like this, I'm going to use this one. Okay, for me, for me, from my perspective, turn left. Turn, teacher, que rectecito. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Turn right, turn left. Turn right, turn left. Okay. Yes. From my, my perspective, <laughs> I don't know your perspective. Okay, so left, right. Okay, turn. Doble a la derecha, doble a la izquierda. Turn, turn right. Go up. Go up. Go down. Go up, le dice la dirección. Go down, le dice la dirección en la que se va a mover la, sobre la calle. Go up, go down. Okay. Walk down the street. Walk. What direction? This one or this one? This one. A or B? Walk down is A or B? A, P. A, A. Mm -hmm. exactly, A. Okay, go, this is walk down. Let me see. Walk. Down. Walk down. Walk down the street. Go on is continue. Go on means continue. Go on for two blocks. Go on for two blocks. Siga por dos cuadros. Go on for two blocks. Take the first left. Digamos, hay una entrada aquí. No, de este lado hay una entrada aquí, otra entrada aquí. The first left. Or una entrada aquí, the first right. Si va para allá, first right. Ok. Take the first, the first left. Take the first right. Do the phrases above have a subject? ¿Tiene, ¿Eso tiene un sujeto? Me van a decir, teacher, en inglés, toda oración tiene sujeto. Y tienen razón. Una pregunta, Capsin. ¿Do the phrases above have a subject? O sea, ¿Quiere decir, tienen un sujeto visible? No. No tienen un sujeto visible. ¿Por qué no? Son instrucciones. Son instrucciones. Las instrucciones serán sin sujeto visible. Es solo un sujeto tácito. Ok. 
¿Quién es el sujeto tácito? La persona que escucha. Cuando la persona oye que, le, que están diciendo eso, sabe que a ella se están refiriendo que ella tiene que ejecutar la acción. Sit down. ¿Quién se va a sentar? Usted. Sit down. H, come here. ¿Quién va a venir? Usted va a venir. Eso se llama imperativo. Lo, lo, lo más sencillo, usamos commands. En vez de imperativos, para ser más fácil, decimos commands. ¿Qué es un command? Una orden o una instrucción. ¿Qué es una instrucción? Algo que se debe hacer. Entonces, command, imperativo. So, imperatives, go straight ahead, stop, turn left, sorry, turn left, turn right. Okay. Use a verb without a personal pronoun, an imperative to give directions. No use un sujeto visible, solo el tácito para dar indicaciones, solo el verbo. Stand up. Come here, go home, relax. Imperative, okay? Sit down. Para hacerlo más, más suave, decimos, Oops, se fue. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Come here, please. Pero no siempre se dice please. ¿verdad? A veces solo come here, sit down, shh, hey, be quiet, be quiet. No digan shut up. Shut up quiere decir cierra el pico. Y cierra el pico es ofensivo. Ofensivo. Hey, shh, cierra el pico. Es ofensivo. No es gallina, ¿verdad? Para que cierra el pico. Entonces, decimos, be quiet, no shut up. Dice que si es mi hermano, yo le digo, shut up. Ok. Ok. Shut up. Be quiet. Okay. Be quiet. Let's continue. Asking for and giving direction. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street. Walk down the street. Walk down the street. Turn left. En el caso este cambia el left. El left es para acá. Turn left. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Walk down the street. Turn left. Okay. ¿Qué falta aquí? ¿Cuántas cuadras? Pero eso poquito, poquito lo vamos a ir agregando. Walk down the street for two blocks. Turn left. Okay. Thank you. Walk down the street. For two blocks. Go down, walk down the street for two blocks and turn left. Okay. No se puede ser muy específico 
no se puede ser demasiado específico cuando da, damos direcciones. Se debe ser lo más específico posible. La idea es ayudar. ¿Sí? Si no ayuda, no sirve. ¿Sí? Si confunde, no ayuda. ¿Sí? So, draw a map. Ya les hice el map. Given directions. Vamos a trabajar en las direcciones. Aquí está el map. Este lo vamos, este que vamos a usar. Pero antes de eso, vamos a, a seguir con los, con los, eh, solo denme cinco minutos. Les voy a robar cinco minutos para pasar la asistencia. Ok, porque ya nos pasamos, pero veamos. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Presente. Excelente. Ana María Portillo. Presente, teacher. Excelente, nice. Andrea Amalia García. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Andrea María Cruz. Dilcia Yamile Fernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Emma Gloria Martínez. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Me alegro de oírla mejor. Ok. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Present. Excellent. Nice. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. José Ezequiel Guzmán. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Lady Xiomara Chico. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Maritza Yanira Hernández. Ok. Eh, don Jorge, your wife no está conectada. Sí. Cuando iba a contestarle, se dice que se le salió de pero ahorita vuelve a entrar. Y yo la vi, la vi en el grupo, por eso sí. me pareció raro que no contestara. Y entonces, ahorita que, que me dice que iba a contestar, la sacó de... Ajá, ya le puse eh, presente. Ya ahorita le... entra de nuevo. Aquí estoy, teacher, present. Excelente, nice. Paola Stephanie Mejía. Raquel Abigail eh, García. Present, teacher. Excelente, nice. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Ok. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excelente. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Present. Excellent, good. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Um, imperatives. Imperatives tenemos, y que vamos a estar usando ahorita, tenemos dos tipos. Tenemos el imperativo eh, que le, le decimos you commands, sit down, stand up, etc. Y tenemos el imperativo de nosotros, que es let's. Let's go, let's study. Vayámonos, eh, comamos. Ok, let's go, let's study, let's play. El que vamos a estudiar ahora es el primero. Ok. Mm. 
le vamos a poner imperatives new, porque en inglés hay dos imperativos. Ok. Um, afirma. Afirma. Please sit down. Please sit down. Relax. The shot. Okay, it says relax. The shot won't hurt. No va doler. Okay. The shot won't hurt you, so relax. Be quiet. Come here. Give me a hand with this. Be there. Be there. ¿Qué quiere decir be there? Preséntate, o sea, llega allí, be there. Preséntate, o sea, que esté presente en el lugar. Preséntate allí, be there. Ok, negative, negative sentence. Ese no tiene interrogativas, no tiene, no tiene forma interrogativa. Ok, son... Don't be late. Don't be late. No llegues tarde. Don't be late. Don't be late. Don't eat in class. Don't eat in class. Don't walk too fast. No camines demasiado rápido. Don't walk too fast. Don't run. No corras. Don't run. Don't run. Don't speak up. No sea recordón. Don't speak up. Don't make noise. Don't make noise. No usamos doesn't. Solo don't para el imperativo. Okay. Please sit down. Relax. Be quiet. Come here, please. Give me a hand with this. Be there. Don't be late. Don't eat in class. Don't walk. Don't walk too fast, don't run, don't speak up, don't make noise. Don't make noise, don't speak up, don't run, don't walk too fast, don't eat in class, don't be late, okay? Imperatives, imperatives. Okay, para que usamos los imperativos? Instructions and orders, instructions and orders. Todas estas son órdenes, aunque digamos please, son órdenes. Instructions, para lo que lo vamos a usar ahorita, las direcciones. Okay. Giving directions. Okay. Park, school, church. Park, school. Eh, supermarket, 
China Walk, Beauty Salon, Car Wash, Dojo. Dojo es gimnasio de karate. Dojo, Disco, Church, Police Station, Drugstore, Café, Bank, Cinema, Cinema, Aquarium, Aquarium, Toy Store, Toy Store, no Toy Story, Toy Store, Boutique, Gym, Hospital, Hotel, Fast Food Restaurant, Barbershop, Shoe Store, Pizza Hut, Pet Shop, Vet, University, English School, Wendy's, Mexican Restaurant, Dentist, Bakery, Daycare. Daycare is um, guarderia, daycare. Public Library, Public Library. Theater, theater, theater. Copy Service, Variety Store, Gas Station. Grocery store, pupuseria, bus station, bus station. Okay, questions? Las avenidas van a ir del 1 al 6. Okay. First Avenue, Second Avenue, Third Avenue, Fourth Avenue, Fifth Avenue, Sixth Avenue. Teacher, pero en la vida real no van así, correcto. Van de dos en dos. Second Avenue, Fourth Avenue, Sixth Avenue, etc. Y después las otras. 20, 21st Avenue, 23rd Avenue, 25th Avenue, etc. Okay. Pero en este caso van a ser diferentes. Es mi, es mi ciudad y yo le pongo los números. <laughs> ok. So, they go like this. Now, street. A, ok. Street A, street B, street C, and street D. Ok. For the direction. Ok. Example. Study this conversation. Study this conversation. Excuse me, how can I get to the park? Go up Street D for four blocks. Okay, notice. ¿Dónde iniciamos? Siempre iniciamos bus station. Siempre aquí. ¿Por qué? Ahí llegan en el bus y ahí se bajan y agarran para la ciudad. Okay, so, what does it say? Go up Street D for how many blocks? Four blocks. Four blocks. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Turn left. Turn left. Okay. Then go straight for three long blocks. Then go straight for three long blocks. One, two, three. Okay. It's next to the school. It's next to the school. Okay, you say it's next to the school. Thanks. Okay. This is an, an idea. We're going to the la actividad es preguntar acerca de esto, dar direcciones. Give directions to the bank, the drugstore, the hospital, barbershop, China Walk, the gym, the hotel, the theater, the cafe, the English school, the supermarket, and the gas station. Twelve, twelve places. Similar to the dialect. Okay. okay, other places. Okay. Um, no le voy a decir el lugar, solo síganme. Y me dicen qué lugar es. Okay. 
go up go up uh, the street for three blocks it's next to the fast food restaurant barber shop the barber shop mm -hmm. como no dije turn but like this it has okay uh, another one okay um get to the go to the corner and turn left go to the corner and turn left uh, go to the end of the block go to the end of the block you will see a dentist clinic on the corner go up c street go up c street for four blocks it's across from the cinema it's across from the cinema the bank the bank the bank okay let's see one more example one more example okay you remember you are at the bus station okay go up uh, to the corner of the of the Mexican restaurant. Turn left on uh, Fifth Avenue. Turn left on Fifth Avenue. Go to the end of the block. It's across from the dentist. English school. Yeah, the English school. Okay, excellent. Very good. The last example. Go up this street for four blocks. Okay, el de bus no cuenta. El de bus station no cuenta. Solo los otros. Okay, so go up the street for four blocks. Turn left on Second Avenue. It's on the right hand side of the street between the car wash and the disco. Dojo. Dojo. The dojo. The dojo. The dojo. Okay. Excellent. Now, my dear Nitos, go and practice. Have fun. Let's go to the groups and let's practice. The groups are opening, so please join. Maritza is in okay. is in group two. Sandra Pat Patricia, you are in group two. Andrea Amalia, you are in group four.
go up the street D. for three blocks, then turn left, go ahead, and in front of a cross of cinema. Uh-huh. It's across. It's across from the cinema. It's across for, from cinema. Okay. Drugstore. Dilcia, ¿lo quieres intentar? Drugstore. Drugstore. Vamos a ver dónde está la drugstore. A la, pa eh, a la par de... Aquí, ¿verdad? Después del café. Ah, es... Como lo diría, está bien parecido al primero, solo agregarías algo para adelantar. Uh. Marita. Okay, what's the address? Mm. For example, go to up street D for three, three blocks. One, two, three. Turn left on to three avenue then go a train for one long block it's across from cinema correct yes no sé si las así nomás las hablamos o las vamos a contar. Creo que son varias. Solo habladitas. Only, okay. only say them. Just say them. Don't write them. Vaya. Jonathan, usted sí. Sí, partimos del bus station. Mm -hmm. Es Drugstore está. Bueno. Ah, está al lado de. En, en la. Uh, Tree Avenue en Street B. B Street. Uh -huh. Ajá. B Street. Ajá. Entonces sería. Eh, walk. To the sixth avenue. In the sixth avenue and cross to B Street. B Street, uh -huh. is the front the supermarket and hospital. Uh -huh. Perfecto. La siguiente es hospital. <laughs> Um, sería, quiero ver, eh, go to, go to Tree Avenue. Mm -hmm. eh, and, eh, and, 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 C Street, 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 C, C Street, there. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. O oh, between B Street and C Street. Ah, perfecto. Um, o oh, sería en the cor no, esta no es esquina, vea. O sea. No, es como en medio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mirror. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es como que between in the B Street and C Street o oh, in front of the university. Perfecto. Vaya, ¿cuál es el, el siguiente? Barbershop. Barbershop. Barbershop y sus barbershop. Ah, a la par de fast food restaurant. Ah, ya la encontré. Ah, esta está más cerca. Ajá, uh -huh. yo creo que va. Walk. A ver, go up the street. D. Sí. Uh -huh. Eh, Dice que tiene que atravesar la calle a Croft. A Croft. A Croft Strip C. Sí. The bank. In front of Bautizo Long. O. Oh. Ajá. Ahí. Uh -huh. También podría decir este in on, on, on street on three street in from the hospital. Perdón. In for in from in, for, in from hospital. También. Uh -huh. In from hosp, hospital or next coffee. Usamos oh. cross from. 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 Cross Uh -huh. ¿Cómo dónde está Drugstore? Drugstore, doctor, doctor. Ah, ya. Ahí podemos de referencia el bus station. Podemos agarrar. Oh, oh. A la izquierda, doblar a la izquierda, turn, turn the left, work, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco block, five block, turn the right, work, Work four block and your and your right three blocks three blocks one two three blocks turn left and the third avenue in front of the hospital. Or okay. in front of cinema. Oh, cinema. Okay. Podría ser también. Okay. Next. How can I get to the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> How can I get to the gym? Gym. Is here. Good up. Mm. Avenue six for two no. blocks. No. Avenue is four. Mm. Ah, yes. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for example, can I say go up the street B? Street B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the fourth avenue in front mm -hmm. of the hospital across from the hospital okay across from ah okay in front of for example boutique mm -hmm. or near to boutique next to Next to, okay. But if someone is here outside of the boutique, it's in front of the boutique. But if this is across from. Okay. Here. Excellent. How can I get to the China walk? <laughs> avenue in second avenue uh, between bank uh -huh. and drug store aha uh -huh. yes okay uh -huh. del banco y del drug store aha uh -huh. vamos con english school mm. go go a uh, street street d for Oh, school on the staff. Ah, for university. For and for to block um for avenue and um, between the university and when. when it's, uh -huh. <coughs> um, supermarket. Por eh, cuál iban, compañeras? Yo he intentado decir varias en supermarket. Ah. El hotel, el feeder y el café ya lo ya lo ubicaron. Yes. Okay. In... Hola, teacher. Vamos en orden, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Lo que pasa es que yo me levanté después de ir al gym porque necesitaba un café. <risa> <risa> ok. Sigue la English School. Ya la encontraron. Sí. ¿Qué es esta? Ajá. Está en Go, go at Street D42 Block um, for Avenue between University. Sandra. El teacher solo se nos mira. <laughs> uh, for the gym. Um, go up a street D. Uh, two blocks. One, two. Turn left onto for Avenue. Then go straight for two long blocks. One, two. It's cross from the hospital.
Vaya, en el caso de China World, sería go up the street. Sería B. B. For. Five. Five block. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, cuando dice toro left, ¿cómo sería? Es como doblar a la izquierda. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces sería toro left. Uh -huh. Second, second avenue. Mm, como dijo cinco cuadras, tendría que ser la primera. The first. Ah, bien. First. Porque, ajá, the first avenue. Ah, ok. The first avenue between supermarket and beauty salon. Yes. Solo le faltó decir la una cuadra. Una cuadra sería go strange. Mm, ajá, go strange for, for one, one. long. Block. Ajá. Y de ahí lo que usted dice. Is behind. Between. Ajá, between. Sorry. <laughs> between supermarket and. Ya, yo mismo. Qué bien, Yuka. Qué tremendo. Y yo creo que de YouTube se ve que para mi casa me he hecho otra media hora subiendo. No, hombre, si eso pasa. Eso de verdad pasa. Yo vivo justo por la Meller, aquí. Mm. Ay, no, es que en la Meller sí se hace tráfico. Horrible. Yo no, no me gusta ya, no me gusta irme porque para ir a mi trabajo ahora la 23. Pero no me gusta irme por ahí porque mucho tráfico. Pero es que desde la fiesta que se puso así. Sí. Ay, no sabía eso fue porque estaba cerrado ahí ah. y siguen sí. haciendo chocolates ahí dicen que sí fíjese pero no sé uh -huh. no no sé la, la verdad no sé si alguna vez hicieron one two three four five six block and in the corner is Twitter In front, in front cross, vet, or between cross, copy service. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. okay. ¿Cuál, cuál, ¿Con cuál vamos? Coffee. Con el coffee. 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 Yeah. Go up, walk, one, one, two, three, four. Four block, walk, four block. On the left, what work for block coffee is in front China walk. The cafe, okay. cafe, coffee is la bebida, cafe is the lugar, y brown. Uh -huh. Ajá, ajá. Brown es el color, café es el lugar y coffee es la bebida. Coffee okay. es la bebida, ok. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Next is, next is English school. English school. English school. Ok. Um, ok. Um, go up. I go up. One, two, three, one, two. Permíteme, permíteme corazón, yo te entiendo a ti. I'm sorry, I go up one, two block on Avenue D and two wrong or 
left. Ay, ya no vi qué pasó, lo quitó. No, no, yo no, yo no lo quité. Ay, ya te Los lo otros quitaron. compañeros estaban que se ¿Por salieron. Qué? Pero ya, ya más o menos, pa, ya casi lo estábamos terminando. Ok, pero si gusta, eh, so, rápido. Pero, pero puede decirlo, yo lo puedo ah, ver aquí en, en okay. otra. I go up, I go up for one, two, no, one block on Avenue D. Eh, street D. Go up Street D. Here. Go up. For example, if I stay here in the disco, I can say go down here. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a signal. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All of you, yeah. Ya lo hicimos todo, ¿no? It's sí. neat. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cuál es la otra? Walk, walk down. Okay, my dear ones. You want to go to Salvador del Mundo and you are, let me see. In, at Iglesia El Rosario. How do you go from Iglesia El Rosario to Divino Salvador del Mundo? Mm -hmm. How do you go? Okay. Has to be driving. Drive yeah. on, uh, on this street, doesn't have the name, but then you have to get to Roosevelt or what, what street is it? Roosevelt, right? Roosevelt, yeah. You go up. Go straight. Okay, go, mm -hmm. go straight ahead. Okay. 
eh, go past Parque Cuscatlán en continuo. Ok. Eh, go past the tall buildings. Oh, what's the name? Eh, Torre, Torre Telefónica. And uh, you will see it there. Ok. Now, if you want to go to eh, Galerías Escalón. Somewhere here. Galería Escalón. And you are going and you are going from Colonia Escalón. Colonia El Rosal. Or Colonia Escalón. Imagine that you're coming from Colonia Escalón, from here. Mm -hmm. How do you come to Galería Escalón? Galería Escalón. A partir del Salvador del Mundo o de partir de la Iglesia Rosario? From Colonia Escalón. If you're coming from Colonia Escalón to Galería Escalón. Mm -hmm. En la 52. <laughs> ¡Ay, tan chula! <laughs> exactly. exactly. Sin complicaciones. <laughs> you don't have to get lost, right? <laughs> Excellent. No, eso estuvo chido. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the attendance porque eso estuvo chido. Okay. Let's go to the attendance. So you have to go down. Paseo General Escalón, okay, and uh, it will be on your left hands, on the left hand side of the street. Okay, let's see. You did a good job. Hicieron un buen trabajo, okay. Felicidades, okay, excellent. Thank you. <clears throat> so, let's continue. We have um, Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Excellent, very good. Ana Maria Portillo. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Todo el mundo habla del sufrimiento de las mujeres. Ronquita. Andrea sí. Amalia García. Uh -huh. Andrea Amalia García. Andrea María Cruz. Dilcia Yamilet Fernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice, Dilcia. Emma Gloria Martínez. No, a Emma no la vi hoy. Okay. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Present. Present. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. José Ezequiel Guzmán. Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Maritza Yanir Hernández. Paola Mejía. Pao. No, Pau, today. Raquel Abigail García. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Okay. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excellent, nice. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Present teacher, perdón. Good. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. And Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Present. Okay, excellent. Y hoy se queda conmigo Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Okay, Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending. Have a nice, very nice weekend. I'll see you on 
Monday. Okay. Take care. Okay. See you on Monday. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Bye bye. See you on Monday. Teacher. Yes. Me anota mi ahí en la porque dice que me fue la señal por ahí. No, estuvo ausente. <laughs> of course, no, no problem. Ezequiel, don't, don't worry, Ezequiel. You you were present. Ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Buenas noches, Rebeca. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarle? Buenas noches, teacher. Ayer, bueno, disculpas que no estuve el día de ayer porque sí estaba bien. Me sentía bien enfermo. ¿Y qué tenía? No sé, fíjate que me dolía la cabeza, toda la parte así como de enfrente de la cabeza. Sí, me dolía bastante. Así que no. Incluso ni cené, me sentía bien mal. Uh -huh. Y si estaba en la clase, no iba a estar poniendo atención. No, tiene razón. ¿Y fue, fue donde el doctor? No, fui rebelde, me quedé en la casa. <risas> no, si el dolor de cabeza, todo, lo, todo dolor es, eh, es un indicativo de que algo anda mal. Entonces... Porque había estado con gripe. No uh -huh. sé si ya era. Ahora sí ya estoy bien, ya... Ya. Mejor solo la, como. La parte fren, del frontal de la cabeza. ¿A qué me dolía? Sinusitis tal vez haya sido. Quizá. ¿Se mojó usted? Pero, no. ¿No se mojó? No. Ya. Estaba Pero... viendo la tarea. Pues. Ajá. Porque creo que vamos con la tarea 17. O ahora sería la tarea 18. Correcto. Y la tarea 17 hay una que no me sale bien. Que como vi que vieron la parte del going to, porque no lo, solo medio he visto en la clase, no he terminado de ver. Lo voy a decir porque es que le sale <risas> mal a la mayoría. Porque uh -huh. toda la oración. Vaya, por ejemplo, si le parece allí, have, tiene que poner. Si, es, si el sujeto es you, you are going to have, solo va a poner are going to have. Como el sujeto ya se lo dan, ¿verdad? Solo, Ajá, si así le he Solo tiene que completar con are going to have. Creo, no estoy seguro si es la cuatro o la cinco, en la cual es necesario incluir el you. Oh, si él no pone bueno. you, no le sale. Pero de allí en todos los demás... Solamente pone el is going to have, is going to go, are going to do. Eso, solo eso pone. Sí, es cierto. No puede ser. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, ya me salió bien. Ah, ahorita no estaba bien. Es que ya lo había dejado abierto antes de la clase. Lo había visto la, un pedacito de la clase de ayer, porque como no la recibí. Y me puse a hacer el ejercicio. Y ese era el que no, no me salía bien. Entonces dije, voy a aprovechar que tengo la sesión con el teacher que le voy a preguntar. Ajá. Vaya. De ahí con los temas que me cuestan. Este, <ríe> a veces no entiendo por qué a veces de como que fueran los calificativos, creo. Cuando dicen... B, blue, car. No hay un orden o es depende de cualquiera o cómo. No, sí hay un, sí hay un orden. ¿En serio? Sí. Sí hay un orden. Eh, va, por ejemplo, si usted dice primero va el grande, <ríe> después va Ajá. el. Y blue eyes. 
big blue eyes, long brown hair, long brown hair. No dice brown long hair, no. Long brown hair, big blue eyes. Ese es el orden que llevan. ¿Y cuando hay más elementos? Cuando hay más, o sea, normalmente en, en, en lo escrito es que meten más elementos, pero hablado dos, tres cosas. Por, <risa> por razón, ni los mismos gringos se acuerdan <risa> qué orden lleva. Ok, pero le voy a enseñar, le voy a enseñar el orden para que lo vea. Ok. okay. Eh, solo que no puedo compartir pantalla con eso, se lo puedo mandar al WhatsApp para que usted lo vea. ¿Por qué? Los, porque me afecta el video, ¿verdad? Eso me afecta el video, entonces, pero se lo puedo dejar allí para que usted lo pueda revisar. Es... Let me see. Ahorita. Voy a descargar uno aquí. Y se lo voy a mandar ahorita al WhatsApp. Vamos a ver, tal vez así, con este. Sí, para que vea el brillo. Es el que dice usted, ¿verdad? Quantity. Sí, eso. Quality, size, shape. Todo esto. Um, one ¿Alguna otra preguntita que tenga? Este, ¿Alguna recomendación de página para ver como verbos? Porque los verbos, sí, no me los puedo todos. Verbos y conjugación. No, yo tampoco me, no hay. No me puedo todos los verbos. Hay un montón de verbos que no me los puedo. Me podría, sí, son bastante. Puedo, quizás unos cinco mil verbos, pero todos los verbos. Cinco mil. Sí, todos los verbos que hay no me los puedo. Así es que no se preocupe si no se puede todos los verbos. Uh -huh. ¿Cu ¿Cuánto se puede? No sé, en realidad. <ríe> Así no me lo no sé. Uh -huh. Pero no creo que mucho. Ok. Le voy a mandar una lista de verbos. Okay. Está bien, gracias. Uh -huh. De acuerdo. Para, ahorita creo que se las puedo mandar. Ya había cerrado el WhatsApp, pero lo voy a abrir. No. Quiero ver. Uh -huh.
Okay. Let me see. Is your group is towards the top? Document. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, entonces la dejo para que vaya a hacer la tarea y pueda descansar temprano. Bueno, muchas gracias por su ayuda. No hay de qué, un placer. No, feliz okay. fin de semana. <laughs> We can see you on Monday, okay? Bye bye. Take care. Goodbye. Good night.